If you're married or getting married or know someone who's getting married, you have definitely come across these types of people in your wedding guest list. Or maybe you are one of them. This is that one guy who has a problem with everything you can possibly imagine. He has an inherent talent to be mad about everything that you supposedly do in your wedding planning. He wants to be involved in every little discussion and plan around your wedding, not because he wants to help, but because he wants to pick on the smallest of your mistakes and throw tantrums about them. And after all this drama, he will always end up getting his own way. Yes, I got your invite, but my grandson is not invited for one of the functions. I received your gift in the post today. How could you not come personally to give the gifts and invitations? This is so unwelcoming. I am extremely insulted. What do you mean it's a small function? My grandson must be invited. On your invitation card, I have been referred to as Mr. Virusha Subhuti, whilst you very well know I am Dr. Virusha Subhuti. This sort of behavior is extremely demeaning and rude and will not be tolerated. Have you forgotten to invite my dog? This is an ordinary guy you would see walking on the streets, but, 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 as soon as you tell him you'll not be able to attend his wedding, he turns into this psychomaniac who will not even try to comprehend you or your reasons no matter how valid they are. He would actually go as far as ignoring you and breaking his friendship with you. Oh, and uh, don't be surprised if you see him break all the barriers of immaturity and click not attending when you invite him for your wedding. Yo! What's up, man? I was just about to ask him. Yeah, listen, I I don't think I'll be able to attend your wedding, man. My granddad just passed away. Revenge! These are those few people who lead you to believe that they'll definitely be coming to your wedding, but they will let you know of their 100% confirmation very shortly. The shortly comes and goes, but you do not end up hearing from them. You see, when they tell you they let you know, they expect you to magically know that it's your responsibility to ask them multiple times rather than them taking the initiative to get back to you. And when you finally reach out to them, they break to you the news of them not being able to make it. Question. Why don't you guys save both parties the time and the effort and just say no in the beginning? Hey, what's up, man? Yo, have you figured out whether you're coming to the wedding? Yeah, dude, of course I'm coming. But I'll let you know for sure soon, yeah? Yo! Hey, have you decided yet? Yeah, dude, I'm trying my best to come, but I'll let you know soon, yeah? Swa -la -la -la. Yo man, what's up? Bro, have you decided? Dude, I was just about to call you. Actually, I have a lot of work deadlines and it's gonna be very difficult. So, I don't think I can make it. Sorry, bro. This person is more excited for your wedding than even you are. They have been preparing for your wedding since your engagement and nothing can break down the enthusiasm of this cutlet. This person is most likely your bridesmaid or your best man. I've already gotten my holidays approved with my boss for your wedding. I've decided exactly what I'm gonna wear for each function and I'm also carrying two extra outfits just in case for backup. Listen, if you need help, just let me know. I'm gonna manage your entire sangeet. Photographers check, hen artists check. Now let's find you the best makeup artist. These are the people who've either attended a lot of weddings or have recently gotten married. They know the A to Z of having a perfect wedding ceremony and they provide you with their services by being your human checklist. They may also stress you out. You have four months left to your wedding and by now you should have made your guest list, bought all your jewelry, booked your makeup artist and booked your flights and hotels for your honeymoon. That's really cringeworthy. No one does that in weddings anymore. Dude, you really need to start your dance practice. Yo guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you've come across any one of these people in your guest list, let me know in the comments below. If you have nothing better to do, watch my last video here. And don't forget to give this video a huge like and click my pineapple picture below to subscribe to my channel. I'm Ananas. Keep laughing.